I really like the job that Sam Pittman has done at Arkansas. This is a team that I think was struggling for a little while, and Pittman taking over was a huge addition to that program. And now they find themselves in a good position. A few changes that we'll make note of, but there's still a team that is fun to watch. There will be a tough team to beat. Sam Pittman knows what he's doing, and now you get to see what he can do in yet another season. We'll start with the offense for these top 10 players and bringing in a talent like Andrew Armstrong helps a group that needs to identify new go-to pass catchers. We saw a couple guys depart last year and Armstrong is someone who comes in to be able to bring a big body to this passing group and six foot four, 201 pounds will do the job. You look at what he did last year at Texas A&M Commerce, 1,020 yards, 13 touchdowns. If he can replicate that success, It'll be a really fun season. Now, Dan Enos takes over the offense, so we'll see what that looks like in terms of how explosive are they going to be. When you lose a guy like Kendall Bryles, the offense will look drastically different, but Dan Enos has a proven track record of being able to produce some really exciting offenses and really fun offenses to watch. So that'll be something to keep an eye on the passing deck specifically. The defense is the group that needs to take a step forward. They need to improve and and maybe just not take another step back. John Morgan comes in from Pitt, and he was one of the underrated players of that Pitt defense. If you watched Pitt last year, you knew their front seven was really talented and full of potential to be able to make big plays. And John Morgan flashed at times, and now Arkansas is hoping that he can play consistently and make big plays every single game. And when you look at the talent, you look at what he's able to do, and you saw what he did at Pitt. That should be a possibility. That should be something we should expect. And John Morgan will help make an impact on a group that was, I think they were disruptive at times. They finished sixth in the country in sacks and and 50th in tackles for loss. But it was kind of feast or famine. I, I think that this group could be much better. The talent they have returning is good. It's just a matter of putting that all together. Hudson Clark is another name that comes back. Cornerback stands at six foot two, 188 pounds a proven playmaker who's been with Arkansas for a little while now knows what he's doing, knows how to get this group to be where they, they need to be. And it's just a matter of execution. This is a a defense, a secondary that wasn't very good last year, finished 131st in passing last year. And that needs to change. You're going to face, I don't know. the, The nice thing, I guess, is that, the SEC this year, there aren't a ton of elite quarterbacks, so maybe you get a little bit of a break, but we just don't know what the season will hold. You're still going to face quite a bit of talent. You're still going to face plenty of elite wide receivers that will make life difficult. So the secondary needs to take a step forward. Hudson Clark is one of those players that will step up. You lose a bit of talent at the linebacker position, but Chris Paul Jr. is back, and I believe we've only seen – a little bit of what he can do i think we've only scratched the surface of what he is capable of 62 tackles eight tackles for loss four sacks when he was kind of thrust into a bigger role last year i think he did just fine i think that he showed he is the future of this defense the future leader of this defense and that will help because again as we mentioned before this defense wasn't very solid last year it was a group that struggled at times but it's a group that I believe has quite a bit of talent that can make that different this year. I believe they could take a step forward. They they could be a much improved group. And again, if the offense continues doing what it's doing and the defense even takes a little step forward in terms of power ratings, in terms of creating stops and whatnot, this is going to be a much better team. And obviously the defense plays a role in that. And when you look at the talent, back on offense, it's easy to see why you could get excited. Tyrone Broden comes back at wide receiver, six foot seven, 195 pounds. So you have a six foot four receiver and a six foot seven receiver. I think Arkansas might have the biggest offense period in college football. And that's really exciting. And when you look at what KJ Jefferson has to utilize in the offense, in the passing attack, you have plenty of size. There's no question about Are we going to be able to make plays? Are we going to be able to be physical? Can we win jump ball situations? That answer should be yes. Broden is an example of that. Average nearly 16 yards per catch, and he could take a step forward if it works out between him and KJ, if if this passing attack gets to where it needs to be. 
protecting KJ will be the biggest thing. And Brady Latham comes back. They lose a, a little bit of talent on the offensive line, but Brady Latham is a guy who is a proven playmaker, a proven leader. And with 39 games of experience under his belt, he will get the new guys up to speed. And that's huge, especially when you're playing the SEC. Everybody knows that you have to be able to compete at a high level and offensive line is really where things up the trenches in general is where you really need to step up and they, they bring a guy back like Latham to be able to help out with that. We mentioned the secondary and how that needs to improve. Dwight McLaughlin will be another player to watch Four interceptions last year. So he, he is a playmaker. He has pretty good size at six to 188 pounds. So it's, it's, it's not a matter of the talent because Arkansas has the talent. It's obviously about the execution and what they're able to do. And Sam Pittman knows that. He knows that he needs to get his defense. And he needs to get them going because if they're able to, like I said, improve even a little bit, this will be a fun group to watch. And obviously McLaughlin did his part. And if you can see this secondary take a step forward, if the front seven also creates more big plays like they did last year, then it, I think this is a much better group. And one of the guys that they also added to to their front seven from the transfer portal is Trahan Jeffcoat, someone who has been really good at Missouri, 19 and a half tackles for loss, 11 and a half sacks with his time with the Tigers. Now you get a player who can be that disruptive force and who can make an impact and help out that secondary. That's going to be huge. And Arkansas is lucky to have him. I really like what he can do. You look at the length, you look at the the hand placement. He has the tools to be disruptive. He has the tools to be a nightmare for anybody that he faces. And that'll be huge for a defense, like I said, that needs to take a step forward. And the final two guys we'll talk about are the most exciting. And the first one is KJ. KJ Jefferson, and if you want him to be first, you think he's the best player on the team, I'm not going to argue against that. He's so fun to watch. KJ has a little bit of Cam Newton in him where he's 247 pounds, and he moves like a guy who's 60 pounds lighter than him. He does things that just blow my mind, and now he gets a chance to be in a different offense. What does that mean for him? Is he able to learn that system? Is he able to elevate his game? Maybe the system fits his skill set better. But I think you're going to get more opportunities for him to showcase his talent. We've seen the arm talent. We know what he's capable of doing. We've also seen the running ability. I think that the passing ability is still super underrated. I believe that KJ can show uh, show off a good arm. And now he has to find new receivers. But I still believe that this is someone who will be a nightmare for the SEC for at least one, for I, I should say, for one final season. The guy joining him in the backfield, who is also a massive running back, is Raheem Sanders, six foot two, 242 pounds. So you have 6'2, 242, and 6'3, 247. Again, Arkansas's offense, if anybody has a bigger offense than Arkansas, I'd be, I would love to see it. I don't think they're going to have anybody bigger than them. And that's good for a, to be in a conference that's going to be physical. You're going to see guys make big plays, make big hits, and they will be, even if they're not as big as Arkansas, they will be physical. And having a running back like Sanders back is huge. 1,400 yards last year, averaged 6.5 yards per carry. Again, 6.5. For Arkansas to be able to have a running back to average 6.5 in this day and age, uh, I think is incredible. I think that is what makes him special. He is someone who can make big plays, and he is – he is a big guy, but also he's not just trying to run people over. He's not looking for extra contact if it's unnecessary. He is someone who can use his feet to get him out of tight spaces, to make guys miss, and that is something that will help again in 2023. Arkansas is a really fun team to watch, a team that I'm really excited to see in, in 2023, some changes that are, are going to be made which will be interesting. I believe that this is a good change for them. Obviously, when you lose Kendra Riles, you're going to change your philosophy and what it looks like under Dan Enos. But this is a team that if they take a step forward defensively and the offense continues doing what it's doing, then they'll be just fine and they will be a tough team to beat this year. 